Hi guys, my name's Libya and today I'm going to teach you how to make paper plate jellyfish. So hopefully they're going to look something like this. Here's the two I did before. Okay, so to make these you're going to need a paper plate. So it can be any colour but white's quite fun because then you can decorate it. So you're going to need some colouring pens or pencils or anything that you can decorate your plate with. Uh, you're also going to need some glue, scissors, and then you're going to need something that can be the tentacles of the jellyfish. So you could either use coloured paper or ribbons. I've got these things which are pretty cool. Anything like that which can form something like this, okay? Right. So, to start with, with the paper plate, I'm going to get a pencil and then draw about halfway a squiggly line. So going to look something like that okay and then with scissors you're just going to cut along the line so this is going to form the body of the jellyfish so something really quite cool about jellyfish which is a bit different to other animals is that they are actually made up of 95% water so they don't have like a heart or a brain or blood they are mostly just water which is quite fascinating so I'm going to cut through this plate. Okay, so then you should end up with something like this, which is going to be the body of the jellyfish. You'll have two of them, so you can make two if you want to. Okay, so now you've got this, this is the fun part. So you can decorate the body of the jellyfish any way you like. So I'm going to go for pink and purple because they're my favourite colours. So I'm going to do some kind of swirls in different patterns. So I'm just going to kind of do lines like this onto the jellyfish. So you can do anything you like this part, any different colours. It's quite fun just to make it your own. So I'm going to do some squiggles. It's going to look something like that, but you could do any pattern that you like. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of purple on there as well. So once you've decorated your jellyfish how you like, on like colours on the background, we're going to do some eyes. So. And get some paper. Right, so on a bit of paper, you're going to draw with the pencil two circles, just like that. And then we're going to cut round them, and they're going to be the eyes which we stick on to the paper plate. So I'm going to cut round them. So though we have made colourful jellyfish. They usually are quite see-through and they don't have many colours on them, so usually quite plain. And because of this, turtles that are in the sea sometimes get confused and think that paper plastic bags um, are jellyfish because they can look similar in the sea. So the turtles can end up eating the plastic bags thinking they're jellyfish which is not good, so that's why we've got to be very careful about plastic in the sea. But yeah, they do look, although we're making them colourful because it's more fun, they tend to look a little bit more plain. Right, so once you've cut out the circles, we're just going to get some glue and stick them on to the jellyfish. So it should look a little bit like that. So to make them stand out more, I'm going to do a blue circle to be the centre of the eye onto these white circles. So I'm just going to do a blue circle. This doesn't have to be blue, you can do any colour. But I just like blue. So it's going to look a little bit like that. So this is the body of the jellyfish. Uh, you can obviously decorate a bit more than I've done but that is what it's going to look like okay so now 
we're gonna do the tentacles. So these are the tentacles, and these are the bits that can sting you, but jellyfish usually use these to get fish which they can eat um, and to move around. So I've got some ribbon here. Um, so I'm gonna stick some ribbon on. So you're gonna turn the jellyfish around. So on the back, we're gonna stick the tentacles on there. I'm gonna use some sellotape for this, but you can use glue if that works better. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that on. So you can use any ribbon, any colors, anything you like. I'm gonna stick on one of these because these are quite cool. Stick that on. So it should look like this, which is quite cool. Okay. So if you don't have any ribbon or things like that, you can use colored paper and make it go crinkly so it looks a little bit like these. Uh, so to do that, if you get like a normal strip of coloured paper and you're going to fold over the top bit forward so it makes a square like that. And then you're gonna do the same thing backwards. So fold it back to make a square and then forward to make a square. 